someone keeps thinking and it seems like they can't help themselves but think. Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have the prophetic word for someone. Someone has been thinking a lot lately. But there is a problem. They are thinking about what they see. They are thinking about everything happening around them. They are thinking about their situation. And this is the issue. This word is coming to someone. You are being, your thoughts are being consumed by everything you're going through right now. You tend to think about it, talk about it, complain about it, cry about it until you even dream about it. But the problem is that whatever preoccupies your mind is likely going to be what you're going to continue seeing. Meaning the more you think about it, the more you attract it to yourself. And guess what? Spiritually, God even answers your thoughts. He says he will do exceedingly above what you think. What you think is part of it, not just above what you pray and desire. What you think is part of it. Your thoughts have power. Your thoughts have power, greater power than you think. That's why the Bible tells us in Philippians 4 and verse 8, the Bible instructs us even of what to think about. He says, whatsoever is true, whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is of a good report. He says, think of these things. So if it is not what you want to see, don't think about it. Only think of what you desire to see. Only think of what will make you happy. Only think of what is good, what is true, what is pure. Don't think of how messed up things are. You keep on attracting that. Rather, think of what you want to see. How beautiful you want to see that marriage. How blissful you want to see it. Think of yourself already married if you're still single and desiring married. marriage. Think what you want to see and not what you don't want. Think what you desire and not what is tormenting you. God bless you. Shalom.